Hello everybody, this is Oliver from Blenders.com and well this is the UBs and textures tutorial. Uh, this tutorial will have three parts. On the first part of uh, this tutorial we are going to take a look on how to ungrab uh, a simple object so we can project uh, plain textures on a three-dimensional model. On the second tutorial we're going to make just the same thing but with a more complex uh, object a little character. And in the third tutorial we're going to take uh, textures and uh, take a look on how to apply them to the material so they become real at render time. Okay? So, let's get started. The first thing we need to know is how to import images into Blender. And there are several ways of doing it. We can uh, use in uh, menus like uh, the texture one here, but we are going to use it on the third tutorial for applying textures to the material. So for now, I'm going to use the UB image editor. Just divide the screen and let's go to UB image editor. Here you have some options like uh, a panel selection for the images you have loaded before, in this case nothing, and here we can create a new texture. Okay, we're going to see it later. But for now we're going to the image menu and open an image. But we have here, I have here uh, a little textures. Well, this is an image I created uh, for explaining you uh, how to how the unwrap works on the objects. Okay, uh, as you notice, I make this uh, full screen. So if you don't know how to do it, is uh, Shift and Space, or Control and Up or Down Arrow. All right, so. Uh, I did this uh, little sample with uh, a pyramid. Okay, so the pyramid has several phases. I called uh, the base phase uh, one, which is this here. And well, this happens because we have a three dimensional object and we have to project uh, a plain texture onto it. Okay, so we uh, need to know how the the the, the object is unfolded to draw the texture, but normally we uh, made the, make the unwrap before painting the texture so we can export that unwrapping, uh, that uh, unwrap model to Photoshop, GIMP, or whatever painting software and paint the, the textures over that lines. Okay, so here we have the, the pyramid, okay, and here we have the plain texture we should paint or the unwrapped model. So we have the base and at this size we have the the other phases. Okay, here you have them numbered. So we need to unfold them like uh, if they was uh, they were um, I don't know cloth patterns or something like that. So we can apply uh, plain textures onto the 3D model. Let's see how to do it. I'm going to import here another texture that we are going to use uh, for the actual uh, unwrapping. So I have here loaded this and I wanted to show you how the drag and drop works in Blender 2.5. So we can uh, drag this texture and here we have it. And pyramid texture, we can rename it. Like pyramid, uh, I don't know. Um, wrapped. All right. So now we are going to create a pyramid from this cube, and I'm going to do it by selecting the top face, press Alt M, and collapse. So we have already a pyramid. Now, uh, how should we uh, unwrap this model? Well, there are several ways of doing it, but you may uh, you you need to know that the menu the unwrapping menu is the letter U. So press U and you uh, get this little menu here. So here you have the the unwrap, which is the usual method for unwrapping, and here we you you have uh, more uh, options for unwrapping. 
Okay, like project from view, I use this a lot. Or reset the UVs if you want to reset the UVs, obviously. <laughs> and well, let's get started. If I select just one face and I press U, ungrab, uh, Blender will ungrab automatically the selected faces. So here you have it. Uh, we need to uh, see this texture on the viewport. Let's go here on display, multi texture, and texture solid. There we have it. As you can see, the rest of the faces doesn't uh, have uh, an image. This is because uh, when we select all the faces, or when we select a face and unwrap it with a texture on the UV image editor uh, applied, uh, you can see that texture on the on the face. But this texture is internally applied uh, applied from Blender to the UV uh, of, of that object. So you only see this texture on on this face. Okay, but if you take a render of this uh, pyramid right now, you don't get any texture. This is because uh, this is just internally done uh, so you can see uh, how the UVs are working. Okay, of course you can do it with uh, already uh, worked materials, but uh, from now we are going to make it that way. What you can do is to select all the faces, press U and grab. And as we don't have uh, any seams, it seems to not work. Let's see another way of doing it. We can position the camera from here. And when we select a face, you notice that we have, it, we have the UVs of that face on this window, on the UV image editor. Uh, if you want to see the UVs on the entire object, you need to uh, go to the 3D view and select the entire object. Okay. Also, you have here an option, which is uh, the sync. You know, keep UV and edit mode mesh selection in sync. So if you press it, when you select here something or here, it will be selected on the 3D view. But the unwrapping uh, options are limited. Right, so I normally don't use it. At least I need to know where uh, a face on the on the UVs are on the real model. So, as uh, I was talking about, uh, just select these two faces, press U, and project from view. This will uh, take this U, the UVs of these uh, two faces of the selected faces, projected from the camera view. So, project from view and you can see that they are projected like if they was projected from the camera. Also we can project from view with bounds. This seems that it will uh, fit the UVs to the texture. All right? But right now we don't have a texture applied to all the faces just to this one. So when you select uh, a face with a texture applied it will show up on the UV editor. But if you select a face that haven't a texture applied, uh, you don't see anything. So we are going to select everything and take here the pyramid and grab. So now we can see the texture in all the faces. Now I'm going to show you the the normal mode for unwrapping in Blender. It, this is the automatic mode and it works really really well. So, uh, well notice that this is a basic unwrapping because there are a lot uh, of options that we are not going to talk about in these uh, basic tutorials. Maybe on more advanced ones uh, we'll talk about them. So, uh, the normal unwrap mode works uh, by using seams for unwrapping an object. So, for example, if you have this object here, the base is joined uh, with the other faces from other sides, from all the sides, but these other faces, this for example, 
uh, on these sides here is not joined to any face so there we have a seam for the pattern of this uh, unfolded object so we need to select that edges okay and with that edges selected we can go to the mesh edges or control E to access to the edges uh, menu and from here we are going to mark seam now as you can see uh, that edges become red this is because uh, this is so you can see uh, on the viewport what edges are seams so uh, you, you can know uh, when you ungrab where the seams are applied so select everything right now and when you ungrab automatically you will get that seams okay now we need to make some adjustments here uh, for moving vertices here it works just as in the 3d view okay so right click and drag for moving the vertices or you can press G for grabbing them or if you select more than one you can uh, take the R button for rotate them or the scale for scaling them just as in the, the normal objects on the 3d view also we can use this uh, 2d cursor which works just as the 3d cursor on the 3d view but for this so uh, if you change here the 2d cursor now the objects rotate around the 2d cursor but well this is as this is a very similar very simple object uh, we don't need to use it right now so select everything rotate it with control press so it uh, rotate on increments and just adjust it and the scale to the base and you can see that when you are moving the the UVs here on the UV editor the UVs are being applied to the object and you can see what you are doing on the real object so here let's see what face takes this alright so we can see that here we have the 3 and we see a little of the 5 this is because uh, the UV is surpassing the limit of the texture and it's taking this part of the other side of the texture right but we can take this and adjust it to the image okay we can do it uh, normally with all the the vertices but in this case we are going to use a trick as we have all the all the vertices at the same distance from the base uh, face uh, because this is a geometrical symmetrical and simple object we can do it so select everything select again medium point as pivot press S for scaling and we're going to scale them down and here we have it maybe this is more like this okay so here you have a texture pyramid now as I said if you take a render of this object no texture okay so in the third tutorial of this uh, series we uh, we will apply a real texture to the object okay now let's say you made the the unwrapping but you don't have the texture yet because it's a complex character or whatever and you need to make the texture after uh, making the unwrap so uh, the process is to go to the to this uh, menu image first of all select the object go to the edit mode select all the faces so you get here all the UVs and here on the menu let's go to UVs sport UV layout okay and here you can select the the format PNG for example click all UVs and here you can uh, give Blender the resolution of the image. Okay, normally, uh, 
the, is the same here than here so it's a square uh, unwrap right so you can put a name here and export it so then you can import it on Photoshop, GIMP or uh, some painting program so you can paint the textures basing on the UVs of that object well this is everything for this tutorial on the next one we're going to take a little character and make some complex unwrapping so stay tuned see you soon and happy blending